I put a dress on today. I don't care what you say. And I'm ignoring my phone, so don't try to reach. Good morning, my loves, and welcome back to a brand new vlog. So I just came out of the shower, as you guys can see, and I'm so super excited because as you guys could have already seen from the title of this video, we are going to Antwerp again. So amazing. It's like 30 degrees, so perfect weather, sun is shining, skies are blue, the birds are chirping, and I'm so happy. Uh, but before we go, obviously I need to do my skincare and I actually recently discovered a product that I can't wait to talk with you guys about and it is this Black Snail Collagen All-in-One Eye Cream that is just amazing. Around the eye area it gets rid of my dark circles but you can use it for your entire face and your neck as well, that's why it's an all-in-one product. Um, so let's head back to the bathroom and let's fix this face. Let's do my skincare routine. So when it comes to my morning skincare routine, cleanser first, obviously, then I use a toner. And when I have a little bit more time on my hands, like today, I do a toner sheet mask and I let this sit for about like 10 minutes. Then I use my gua sha with some oil or serum. And then the product that I have been talking with you guys about already, the Cosir Black Snail Collagen All-in-One Eye Cream. This contains 92% snail mucin, that's why it's so stretchy. And it also contains adenosin for full wrinkle care. Cosir is a cruelty-free brand, so all snail mucin products are 100% cruelty-free, no harm to any animals. And snail mucin helps to protect the skin from moisture loss, it has a healing effect, it supports the skin barrier, and besides snow mucin, this also contains black beans, which are rich in protein, black sesame seeds, which contain omega-3 and omega-6, as well as vitamin B and E for anti-aging, and black rice, which is full of ceramides and zinc, which help deal with irritation and redness and nourish the skin barrier. This is an eye cream, but you can also use it all over your face and your neck, obviously. I have been using this for a little while now, and I absolutely love it. Definitely a new staple in my skincare routine. And then we finished the routine with some sunscreen, obviously. <music> Seems to hold me like you do mm -hmm. You're so wonderful A star could never shine as bright as you mm -hmm. Shine as bright as you Even the dark they still see light Even the birds still sing at night Every word just comes out right When I'm with you, with you I feel so lucky I met you and I still um, can't believe that I get to see those eyes from morning. So we have arrived in Antwerp as you guys could have already seen from the clips and I'm now drinking my sangria, enjoying the life. Mm, so extremely good. So it is like 30 degrees outside. We are sweating our asses off, like literally it was not fun, but now we're totally relaxed. Um, this is my second sangria of the day. Uh, we didn't eat yet. We just like had a bunch of different drinks, but it's all good. We're really, really enjoying it. Um, and as you guys could have seen from the previous shots, I just went to this perfume store and it's like this niche perfume brand that is super famous. It is Necessité and that translates to necessities obviously and perfume, let's be honest, is a huge necessity but they have all niche uh, fragrances like Baccarat Rouge which I had never tried in my entire life but I've heard so much about it obviously it's such a hype right now especially on TikTok. I remember that one girl was telling a story about how a hotel in Las Vegas uh, near the casinos, they had Baccarat Rouge in their toilets so you can just spritz it on and then all the girls would just go there to like touch up their fragrance because it's so well known. It's like 250 euros per bottle, like the tiniest bottle. Um, and then 
she dropped like all the little bottles I don't know if you guys saw that TikTok but like obviously she was so ashamed and she had to pay for all of it which is like horrible uh, but anyways uh, the staff there helped me a ton and they um, help me try out two fragrances so this is the Baccarat Rouge one which is so extremely good um, it, she said that it even has cotton candy in it which is so like surprising because it isn't overpoweringly sweet whatsoever and I'm just waiting because there are cars driving by but it also has notes of saffron that's like the top note she said and um, then it also is a jasmine scent um, so I really liked it and it wasn't as overpowering as I thought it would be so yeah really happy that I now tried it but the one that I actually like most is this one and it's the oot fragrance and the top note is honey and you can really smell that but again it's not overpoweringly sweet which I'm always kind of afraid of because I do love sweet scents but not sickly sweet not like candy sweet so this was really nice it's a unisex fragrance uh, and I can also really imagine that for men it will be a great fragrance to wear so uh, yeah <laughs> there's a little update on the little store that I went to it's right there as you guys can see and now we're just chilling before we can check in to our hotel room and Pomi is also really enjoying his time here living the life he's such a cutie pie I mean look at him yeah belly rubs you like that right so cute if I could tell you I don't think you believe how long I felt this way I'm begging you to stay and if I could show you I'd hope that you could see all the possibilities there could be a place for you and me and under the stars you pack up your car cause you're going Guys, it is finally time to check in to the hotel room. So excited. We're already having so much fun, guys. As per usual, we are staying in the Banks Hotel, you guys. That is the hotel that we stayed in previously as well. And look at the view, guys. I love this view. Antwerp is so pretty. Wow. So I changed into a little bit of a different look this time. It's a little bit Audrey Hepburn inspired with the pearl necklace and my new dress, uh, my Chanel bag obviously, and then these super cute sock boots. And we're just strolling around and look what we just saw. This is a vending machine, but instead of like chewing gum or whatever it is, drinks, it is jewelry. This is definitely something that you only see in Antwerp. Like, look at it. And it's not even that cheap, like 85 euros. So like, this is a big purchase for some people, but you can just get it out of a vending machine 24 seven. This is so cool this store is called billion avenue that's so funny we were just like walking past it and then my mom noticed it and she was like what am i going to see like is it sex toys is it something weird like in ibiza they have a, a weed fending machine where you can get like all kinds of cannabis products and here it's jewelry because obviously antwerp diamond city uh love that and look how pretty this is you guys i've walked past this so many times the previous times we went to antwerp but i never noticed it it's jesus on the cross wow this is so beautiful look at it really cool wow i'm so happy guys i just went to that noodle spot right there and i got some late night noodles oh my gosh the best ever good morning my loves this is my outfit of the day and i'm currently on my way to joe and the juice to get breakfast 
So maybe you're able to tell from my face because maybe I don't look my absolute best. Um, and that is because we didn't have the best night whatsoever. I like barely slept because the power completely shut down. We didn't have electricity, uh, we didn't have light and it was horrible uh, because it is really hot. As I already told you guys, it's like, 30 32 degrees here celsius that is obviously and so we had the ventilator on and then in the middle of the night it was like 3 a.m and i hadn't slept yet because i don't know new environment even though i've been to this hotel already a couple of times but like i'm just the worst sleeper so i had a lot of trouble with falling asleep and guess what um then the ventilator broke and then it was even more impossible to sleep so my mom asked me like oh can you go downstairs because maybe it's a problem just in our room but i went downstairs i had my little flashlight on uh on my phone and obviously i couldn't take the elevator um so i had to walk down the stairs it was so hot everywhere i was completely out of breath and then it was like 3 30 in the morning and there were all these guys standing at the reception area uh, complaining obviously that they also didn't have any power uh, and i was the only girl there you saw like all these guys in their pajamas and i was just like in my evening dress because i didn't have a pajama with me because it's so hot so i was like completely dressed up even with my pearl necklace still because i forgot to take it off so i looked absolutely ridiculous and i like came downstairs and i couldn't even say anything these people immediately said like oh you don't have power too yeah me neither <laughs> so um yeah now it's fixed well the light is fixed uh, we still don't have electricity so <laughs> that's a little bit of a bummer but it doesn't matter i'm up and awake oh that's a cool car right there that's really cool um but it all doesn't matter i'm awake right now and hopefully i still look a little bit presentable i had my eye patches on this morning so you know maybe that did something and as you guys can see uh on sunday in antwerp everything is closed that is definitely something to keep into account if you're going to the city so i'm walking here look how cute they already have their winter collection here i like can't imagine because i don't want to think about winter yet but yeah here it is you can see they're all open monday to saturday sunday morning it feels like such a ghost town and the first time i was here i really needed to get used to that oh yeah and i also want to show you this this is iro paris look at this scarf you guys i'm so obsessed with this like these beige looks so beautiful another thing about antwerp that i noticed is that all the people here are so stylish it is insane like every single person wears designer items and i was talking about this with my mom because it doesn't really matter whether they have like a more alternative style or a more classy kind of sophisticated workish like blazers you know my style it doesn't really matter what kind of spectrum they are on in the fashion scene uh everybody is a rocking full-on designer so we saw this girl and she had like a really like boho meets grungy feel and then she was rocking a dior saddleback with that look and she had like this long dress on and it looked so like rock star and then you look somewhere else and you see a lady like six years old in tweet with like a chanel bag you know so that's really inspiring um and we are here we made it to joe and the juice i love joe and the juice so much when life gives you strawberries make power shakes so let's get some breakfast i got the good stuff you guys oh my gosh so excited about this this is gonna be so good uh of course spicy tuna which that's like my regular order and sports juice uh i always <laughs> order the same thing whenever i go to joe and the juice but then you just know it's good so you can't blame me right I give you the world but you don't deserve it diamonds and pearls 
So I am now in Diva and this is the Antwerp Diamond Museum. <laughs> so fitting because obviously I just got my diamond bracelet. I don't know if you guys have seen the um, unboxing that I did on my TikTok and my Instagram and like I'm such a diamond lover. I have my <laughs> diamond jewelry on today um, especially for this occasion as well and the best part is that this museum is free today uh, because it's museum day so like all the museums and monuments are free um, so everybody can enter and yeah we're going to do a little tour through the museum and I had the best time ever. First of all, you had to put on a little sticker and it's so cute because the museum is called Diva and um, there were all kinds of well, artworks, first of all, uh, not just diamonds, but also silver artworks. There was like a whole a room with only silver pieces, which were really beautiful. And I especially liked the shell-shaped pieces. Those were really, really pretty. And then there were also uh, diamond pieces from La Belle Epoque, and there were pieces from Queen Victoria, and there was even a little story about how in the 19th century uh, a lot of the people of royalty they wanted to have diamond pieces custom made that were inspired by nature and a lot of them also wanted pieces inspired by animals or insects uh, mainly butterflies dragons and snakes and queen victoria wanted a snake piece because um, she felt like she wanted to live by the rule of the snake and you know there are all these myths about snakes obviously so that is where the whole snake trend uh, comes from and nowadays you still see that uh, very often with the diamond jewelry there's one famous brand with the snake I forgot it but is it Bulgari? wait let me just look it up yeah i was right it's bulgari that have this whole serpent uh, collection so you know nowadays you still see a lot of celebrities like for example somebody starting their motor there uh for example lisa from blackpink with these snake pieces that are like wrapped around your wrist like that uh, but that all started in the 19th century that trend so that's really interesting and there were lots of beautiful pieces so yeah really enjoyed my time so i just looked up some more information about the whole rule of the snake thing and and snake pat Snake patterns have been around since the ancient Greeks, uh, but during the reign of Queen Victoria in the Victorian era, they became extremely popular and became a symbol for eternal love. And um, on this website, um, it's antiquejewelrycompany.com, always feature your references, obviously. Um, it says that Queen Victoria put snake jewelry under the fashion spotlight when her husband-to-be, Prince Albert, bought her a snake engagement ring uh, with her birthstone which was emerald in it and that is when the victorians began associating the snake motif with eternal love um, and it still remained a very popular motive uh, throughout the art nouveau era so yeah that's really interesting uh yeah definitely a recommendation normally it's not free i think normally the entry is like 
12 euros or something but yeah definitely recommend going here if you're ever in Antwerp. So after the Dime Museum I went to this exhibition called Sous Titre de Fleurs and I was amazed by how beautiful these paintings were. Also this lady explained how she makes these bags herself with like diamonds in it. So beautiful. And that was already the end of my trip. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye my love. I can make you happy.